Well, hey there. Good to see you back again. I have to be up in like three hours, but that's okay. It's all life. E. So, we're gonna get going. But first, I just, I have a little bit of book related news for you. Not that important. Oh wait, it's hella important. So firstly, I can finally reveal to you the cover of Feel Good 101. Are you ready? I don't know if you're ready for this jelly. Uh, there it is. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's super cool, but that's not the only news, my friend. I can also now officially announce that your girl is going on a book tour. This tour uh, is UK only because my publishers are from the UK, but if you would like to come along to the Feel Good 101 tour, then the dates are right here and also down in the description below as well. They are London, Birmingham, Liverpool, Manchester, Newcastle, Edinburgh, Glasgow, and Brighton. Now some of these events are not just book signings, they're also uh, Q&A and talk sessions as well. So in London, Birmingham, Glasgow, and Brighton, um, I'll also be doing a Q&A and a talk session with you guys, as well as the book signing. The tickets cost $14.99, uh, but you do get a book with it. Anyone under the age of 14 must be accompanied by an adult. That's for every event. So you can grab your ticket for the book signings via the website in the description below. Also, all of the full terms and conditions are on the website as well, should you want to read them. I would suggest it, so that you don't come angrily tweeting me in two months' time. And uh, I think that's I think that's all the news I need to give you right now. Like I said, all the details will be on the website. So without further ado, let's get on to the actual Ask Emma. So if not, Sophie asks, If you could pick anything in the world that you had to eat every day, what would you pick? My boiler really is that loud, by the way. But the smart side of my brain is thinking logically. If I have to eat it every day, it should be something healthy and also something I enjoy. And there's only really one food that crosses over on that Venn diagram and that is broccoli. <laughs> Emma broccoli, <laughs> fucking say it. But I love broccoli, you know? Um, so, I guess I would choose that. Nicola Jackson says, Your accent always baffles me. Where are you from? I'm from Essex in the UK. I know that my accent has changed an awful lot over the last few years. The good news is, I'm gonna make a whole video and vloggery about it, because I get asked all the time why I suddenly sound American. Um, it's not something that I planned. It's not something that I did on purpose. It just happened. I really don't know why, but my accent sounds different all the time. I know. Anna Thu? 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 Sorry. I'm gonna say your name is actually Anna Sue, but you have a lisp and you're embracing that, so now you call yourself Anna Thu. But Anna Thu asks, what are your favorite Netflix shows? Doesn't actually count because it's not a Netflix original, but I have just finished watching the first two seasons of Rick and Morty, which I have completely fallen in love with. I know I'm so late uh, on that bandwagon, but again, I guess it doesn't really count. I also kind of like House of Cards. I haven't watched the last season because I've been too busy, but I remember watching the first two or three, I think it was the first two seasons, and I really like that. Same with Better Call Saul. I like that as well for the first like one and a half seasons and then I got kind of bored. And the same with Kimmy Schmidt. I started watching uh, the second season, got really, really bored. Orange is New Black. I love Orange is New Black. There are not enough lesbians in my life. Tristan Oscar asks, if you could turn into any animal at will, what animal would you pick and why? Probably a big fat fucking hench ass bird that can just fly away from its problems, you know? You know, you, 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 got, a, you got a hefty tax bill, whoosh, you got Video deadlines to meet? Uh oh, I guess I'm flying away again. Oh no, oh shit. Oh, I'm so sorry. Lori C says, go buy magnetized on iTunes. Yeah, that's a pretty, that's a pretty good fucking suggestion, Lori C. I agree. Satanai asks, which song from Magnetized is your personal favorite? Um, well, Nothing Without You is my favorite song that I've ever written. I think it's the best song I've ever written. Uh, so it would naturally be that one, I guess. Sophie, my good friend Sophie, has asked, have you got any tattoo ideas for the near future and do you think you'll ever get a piercing? Well, I mean, I got I got some room to, you know, to sort shit out with. I haven't thought about it too much though. I'm still still having my little mushroom heal over, so I've got a while to think about it. I know that I want a bee, and I know I want a butterfly, and I know I want a honeycomb, and I know I want the Animal Crossing furniture leaf somewhere, because that game is hella important to me. But maybe that'll be the next one. I don't know. As for piercings, no, I, I contemplated the septum piercing for a while, but every time I go into my local piercing shop with Lily, who 
loves to loves loves to get pissed apparently i just i can't i i cringe i can't do it and it's kind of weird because um lily loves getting piercings but the idea of like tattoos just freaks her out because it's permanent stuff whereas i'm the complete opposite like i'm fine with just draw on me forever whatever but a piercing oh don't go through my skin just go on it slightly oh just the thought of the needle out the other side something just I just can't, I just can't do it. I can't do it, so no more piercings for me. Hell, even my ears have closed up, I think. Saul Rhea, oh, I hope I got that right. Saul asks, how did you feel when your EP reached number three on iTunes? That's the thing that happened. I woke up on the day of release and my EP was number three in the iTunes pop album charts. It was above Ed Sheeran, which is ridiculous. And it was just below Harry Styles. So that was quite a nice little sandwich I had going on for a while. It's lower now, obviously, because we're like a week in, two weeks in, whatever. But it was great. And it's, I think that's like my, my favorite musical achievement, honestly, because the other EPs went under the rock chart. And like I had, Distance went to number one in the rock chart. Perfect went to number four, I think. Sucks to be you was a weird one because it counted as a single and not an EP. But this one was the pop chart, which has way more saturation. So to get to number three was just just amazing. Um, I don't know, just another dream, just another dream completed. I don't know. Now I just got to write a real album, right? Maybe next year. Kimberly Coeth, what is going on with your names today? Honestly, what's wrong with Smith, Jones, Johnson? And say them. Kimberly asks. If you had the chance to move away and start again, would you go without looking back or would you stay where you are and continue to live life as you are now? That's a good question. Because people can say what they want about YouTubers and how like, you know, lucky we are and how good we have it. But there have been so many times where I just, I want to go back to a really quiet life where I didn't always have all this fear and anxiety or stranger danger. And I'm kind of jealous of that alternate universe where I just own a coffee shop in a small village somewhere and no one knows who I am. I'm jealous of that alternate universe, Emma. But also at the same time, I do love what I do. Everything has setbacks, everything, you know, has pros and cons. There are some things I don't like about this, but there are so many more things that I do love about this. Touring is like my favorite thing, hearing people sing my music, so I know I wouldn't be able to do that if I started again, so I wouldn't start again, no. But sometimes in my head, it's a nice elaborate fantasy. Joseph Shovlin. Joseph Shovel asks, what do you think about pineapple on pizza? I like it. It's a fun and independent fruit. Ah yes, the pineapple. So fun. So independent. This is just gonna be another scone versus scone debate. But I fucking love pineapple on pizza. It belongs. Nothing wrong with a bit of sweet tang on the pizza. Especially, oh, if it's fresh pineapple, not even cooked and it's cold. It just, all of the, it's just great. Okay, I, I don't understand how anyone could not like it because they're like, oh, well, fruit doesn't belong on pizza. Isn't a tomato a fruit? I think. Who knows? Is a tomato a fruit? Because now I've just opened a can of worms. Tomato is definitely a fruit. So, everyone's saying they don't like fruit on their pizza. Well, I'm about to rock your fucking world. Hawaiian pizza is the best pizza. End of story. AJ Sharma asks, have you ever lost friends because they turn into jerks? What advice would you have for others going through the same? I think everyone has lost a friend because their friend has changed or or done something to hurt you. It's obviously easy for me to, to say this from an objective third person standpoint, but the simple fact is, and you will come to realize this once those emotional ties have been broken for you, if your friend is being a dick, you're not really missing out, you know? What have you really lost if they're being a dick? You just lost the dick, you know? Like, if your friend was really, really nice and then they had to move away to, like, another country on the other side of the world, that's where you should be really sad. But if you have someone that's totally changed and is making you miserable, fuck that shit! <laughs> Go away! Don't need your negative bullshit. Just Jazz asks, have you got any old demos for the new magnetized songs? Um, yes, I do, because I wrote them, and I had to send them to my producer, but you can't have them. Elish is bi, I respect your boldness, and also, seeing as bi erasure is such a thing, how come I can still see your comment? Are the weekly vlogs gone for good, or will they come back at some point after tour? I feel like I've, I've, I've gone on about this 
so many times, but people just keep asking, and at this point it's starting to sound like a wind-up to me, but I don't know what to do with them. I don't know. I might put them on vloggery, because they didn't do too well on this channel. Um, I might not bring them back at all, because they're super stressful, but I might be able to hire an editor soon at some point, so, so maybe they will come back. I don't know, but right now I don't have the time to sit down and edit them for like four hours a week. I, I just, it was more work, and I'm sure it was really, really fun for those of you who enjoyed it. You know, you got to see a little bit more of my life, but right now I've had so much going on that I've just, I've had to just, I've had to just stop it for now. Um, but if I do bring them back, you'll be the first to know about it, okay? And finally, Catherine Elizabeth asks, what is something that you absolutely hate? I'm glad we're ending this on a, a light note. Some things that I absolutely, objectively hate are death, pain, taxes. What else do I hate? I hate people that don't like pineapple on pizza. I mean, y you're asking an open-ended question here, you know, but here are some things that I love. All of you going on tour, writing music, the style of videos that I've been making recently, my Patreon patrons, where I live, my best friend, WWE. It's all good. I'm hamsters. I fucking love hamsters! Oh, my family too. They're cool, I guess. But anyway, um, that's all I have time for because uh, I really need to go to bed. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you want to leave questions for Ask Emma 17 wow, I've been doing this a long time, then leave them in the comments of this video down below. I'm pretty sure next week there is a video going up of me and my dad trying to style each other, so I hope you all enjoy that. But until next time, guys, as always, I shall catch you later.